Imagine being a 16-year-old delinquent high school student, and one day you randomly found a baby. But this isn't any ordinary baby. As it turns out, he was sent here to Earth by the command of his father, who is the great demon lord of another world, who has instructed his maidservant to deliver his demon son and heir to the human world and eventually he will destroy humanity. The story takes place in a world where there are two dimensions, which are made up of the human world, and also the world of demons. In the human world is where we'll meet the main protagonist of the story, a first-year student named Oga Tatsumi, a somewhat problematic student who always seems to find himself getting into trouble. Due to his reputation from the previous high school, he's known to have overly aggressive behavior and physical strength, so he's been given the nickname Rampaging Demon Ogre. And upon arriving at his new school, called Shiyama High. He's greeted by a second-year student, who's been given the nickname, Abe the Machine, who immediately challenges Oga to a fight right as he enters the school. While Oga approaches Abe, the other students notice Oga sweating so much that they think he must be scared of Abe, but it turns out that it wasn't sweat, but was actually a baby who was relieving himself on top of his head making everyone cry of laughter. However, Abe the Machine doesn't think it's funny like the other students and is still so angry and goes in to punch Oga. However, before Abe lands his shot, Oga manages to punch him in the face first while also reprimanding the boy at the same time. It turns out that Oga is a delinquent student in charge of looking after and raising the son of a demon baby named Beelzebub. When Beelzebub ends up clinging onto Abe by mistake, he suddenly realizes he's not Oga, and immediately bursts into tears, causing him to create a huge electrical explosion. Later on, Oga is talking with his close friend Furuchi, and tells him the story of how he ended up with this demon baby. According to Oga, he was in the middle of teaching some delinquents a lesson after they messed with him. But out of nowhere, a rather large man was seen floating down the river. This unusual sight frightened all the other students, so they ran away. However, Oga was instead intrigued by the sight of this large and magical-looking man, so he pulled the man out of the river. Once Oga saved him, he looked inside the man and inside was Beelzebub. The man was fine after being opened up, and once the demon baby was in the hands of Oga, he immediately dives back into the river and floats away. The baby, however, was feeling lost and scared, so Oga tried cheering him up with some light-hearted humor and pulls silly faces. However, Beelzebub didn't care much, so Oga made a demonic face instead, saying he will steal his soul. After seeing this, Beelzebub was now entertained and was instantly attached to Oga. He explains to Furuchi that if anyone tries taking him away from him, Beelzebub throws a tantrum and electrocutes them. However, Furuchi thinks this is all a big and made-up lie, and then learns the hard way when he attempts to take Beelzebub away from Oga. The next day at school, Oga is walking through the halls with Beelzebub and saw two classmates fighting. Oga immediately reproves them, asking them to keep their voices down otherwise the baby will cry. Despite his best efforts, the baby still cries and electrocutes them. Right after, Oga and Furuchi arrive in class with their bodies almost burned to a crisp and at this point the rest of the class become very weary of them. Oga tells Furuchi that all they can do for now is keep him distracted until they figure out where he came from. However, Furuchi insists he leaves him out of this situation as he's already had enough of the demon baby. At this moment, Beelzebub is annoyed and is getting incredibly bored of being at school, so he starts acting up again, while charging up a huge blast of energy, so Oga begs Furuchi to quickly find something to calm him down. But Furuchi reminds Oga that this school is literally hell on earth, full of delinquents, so how could he possibly find anything in a place like this that will a baby will find amusing? Oga tells him he needs to find something fast to get his attention, so he quickly drew a character from a popular TV show but Beelzebub didn't like it. So next he pulls out a gift he was going to give to a girl, but the baby threw it out the window and right after electrocutes the entire classroom. After school they go back to Furuchi's house to discuss how they can get rid of Beelzebub, and Oga complains about how much of a task it is to look after him. Furuchi tells Oga he can't stay here long as he's going on a date, and here is where Oga proposes that Furuchi and his new girlfriend should look after the baby and be a happy family. However, Furuchi declines this offer as he wants no part in looking after the demon baby. Oga tries one last time making a demonic face at him, and told him to get lost. But Beelzebub enjoyed it and is now even more attached to Oga. Then suddenly a girl wearing a maid's outfit appears from the skies and arrives at Furuchi's house. She explains how she's a demon maid, named Hilda, and Beelzebub is her master and there's no way some gutter trash like them could ever look after him. She explains how she wishes for Beelzebub to return back to the demon world with his father. After hearing this, Oga starts arguing with the maid because of his natural aggressive behavior and starts shouting at the maid, asking who she is. Furuchi is shocked that Oga would dare speak to a demon this way, but then she explains how she was sent here to bring him home, and tries pulling him away from Oga, but she's unsuccessful at doing so. 
While she's trying to pull Beelzebub, he starts laughing and tells her that there's no way he'll ever leave him. But then Furuchi reminds Oga that this is what they've been wishing for all day, which is to finally get rid of Beelzebub for good, which Oga had forgot, so he quickly changes his mind and yells at the baby to let go, so that this nightmare will finally be over. But unfortunately this wasn't the case, and the more they struggle, Beelzebub was getting so angry that he electrocutes the entire room. After being shocked by Beelzebub, they all sit down, and Hilda explains that it seems like Beelzebub has already taken a liking into Oga, and he's already claimed Oga as his father in the human world and is fully attached to him. She goes on to explain how Beelzebub is to be the king of their kind after his father's reign is over, and his full name is actually the Lord Emperor Beelzebub V, and he is a demon lord who's been sent here to destroy all of humanity. Oga and Furuchi are confused, and ask the maid how he will be able to destroy humanity when he's only a baby. The maid replies saying that the current king of demons is too lazy, and was meant to destroy humanity a long time ago. However, now he's mostly busy, so when the day of reckoning was supposed to happen something always comes up. Eventually he gave up, and instead he will use his son Beelzebub to do the task and ordered the maid to bring him down to earth. But first she was instructed to find suitable humans to raise him, which is why she has returned. Furuchi is relieved that he was not chosen, and makes fun of Oga as he will be the demon's father from now on. At this moment Oga refuses and tells the maid that he will not be the father of a demon lord, and gives the baby back to the maid. But right after she told him that if he declines being his father, then she would have to kill him. Once she draws for her sword they begin running and Hilda starts chasing both of them down the street. But while running, he realizes that Beelzebub was still stuck on his back. Hilda keeps teleporting in front of them and reminds them how it's impossible to escape from a demon maid. She then summons her companion, a giant demonic bird named Akubaba, which tries to stop Oga, but he kicks it straight in the head. They continue running, playing like a cat and mouse chase throughout the town. But Hilda eventually catches up to them and when she does, she pulls out her sword and points it a few centimeters away from his face. However, Beelzebub didn't like her threats towards Oga and charges up a giant blast of energy while also bursting into tears and electrocutes everyone in the area for several minutes. Furuchi is now worried about Oga as the blast is sure to have killed him but they are shocked when they find him unharmed and is calming down Beelzebub and tells him that it's not okay for a demon lord to cry, otherwise his people will think he's weak. After, the blast of energy made the metal tower break down, so Oga quickly rushes over to save Beals, and as the tower was about to end them both, Beelzebub uses a surge of red flaming energy, causing a heat wave and melts the tower leaving everyone stunned as they witness the capabilities of his true power. Hilda then told Furuchi that she suspects Oga is not who he says he is, as Beelzebub is willing to do anything to protect him from harm. After being asleep for two whole days, Oga thinks it was all just a stupid dream and laughs about how he was a demon lord's father. But as he wakes, he's greeted by Hilda, who's been waiting for him to get up. She tells him that starting from today, both of them will have to raise the demon lord baby. Hilda exposes the truth to Oga's family leaving them in shock, and his father melts at the thought of Oga keeping a secret this big from him, and is over the moon when he finds out he has a girlfriend. Hilda even prepares food for his family and when he arrives home, he is shocked as she made all the food that night for the family dinner. Later on, Oga takes Hilda upstairs, and there he tells her he's had enough of all this, and wants both of them to leave at once. But once again, Hilda refuses and tells Oga how it's impossible for that to happen, as Baby Beals has already chosen him as the father, and he can never leave his side or else he will throw a massive tantrum. After, she warns Oga that if he's even 15 meters away from Oga, that he'll create a fatal shockwave that's seriously dangerous. The next day at school, all the students are trying to overthrow Oga as he claims to be the most violent student that nobody should mess with, and they all hear about the baby that Oga has been bringing to school. They try to use this moment to get their revenge, but Oga warns them all that he's exactly 14.6 meters away from the baby and to return Beelzebub immediately or else. However, none of them listen to him, and just then, the second-year students arrive, named the Sonata Twins, and they tell all the first years to back off, as they will deal with Oga instead. But they fail miserably, and Oga easily defeats the bullies with his secret move called the Oga Punch. After a long and tearing day, Beelzebub finally goes to sleep, and here is when the large man from the river returns, named Elaine Dillon, and comes into the room to deliver Furuchi. Furuchi goes on to tell Oga how he's worried about him living under the same roof as Hilda, as she too is a demon from another world. But Oga thinks he's just overreacting, and doesn't think much of it. While Beals is sleeping, Oga mentions that he doesn't really look like a demon lord at all, and just looks like a normal cute-looking human baby. Hilda replies saying not to worry, as soon he will grow up to become the most feared demon lord, who will destroy all of mankind. 
After, Furuchi adds that it's almost like the future of humanity rests on Oga's shoulders, making all of them laugh. They all continue laughing for several minutes, until Oga asks Elaine Dillon why it has to be him. Elaine Dillon then reveals to Oga that he was in fact chosen by him from the beginning. As Ali Andalin knew about his past history, and was aware about him being known as a high school delinquent, with a specific nickname, called the Rampaging Demon Ogre. And upon floating down the river, he got to see Oga's personality traits in person when he was dealing with the other delinquents from his school, thus making him a perfect match to be Beals' father. Elaine Dillon adds that Beals would only accept a human to be his father if that human had great strength. After Elaine Dillon said this, Oga then replies, saying he must find someone even stronger and more terrible than him, in order to change Beelzebub's mind for choosing him as the suitable father. Meanwhile, in the demon world, Beelzebub's father, the great demon lord, is playing a tabletop game with his fellow demons, and looks like he's having a hell of a time. But the others don't care as they want him to get on with destroying humanity. At this moment, the underling gives the master an update on what his son is doing and explains that a delinquent high school student has taken the role as his father, named Oga, and Beelzebub has accepted him. The great demon lord laughs, and points out that he likes the look of Oga as he has a pretty barbaric-looking face. After seeing the look of Oga, he gives the underling Beelzebub's favorite toy, and orders him to bring it to the human world. The next day, Oga goes to school in order to search for someone more stronger and brutal than him, but despite his efforts, it seems like he's yet to find anyone who comes close to him. After, Hilda comes to their school and attends the class in order to give Beelzebub his favorite toy. However, when she arrives, she only finds Furuchi there instead. When she asks Furuchi where Oga was, he told her that Oga went off to find someone more brutal than him, to be Beel's father. Right after, the class are all intrigued at the sight of Hilda, and a second-year student tries hitting on her, but this leads to him challenging her to a fight instead. But she wins easily, and he gets sent flying away from the school. The other students saw this and were frightened out of their minds, and this made Oga believe that this might be someone who's more terrible than him, but it turns out to just be Hilda. When she sees him she asks if he's found someone more brutal than him, but tells her that he's still yet to find someone. But while he moans in anger, on the other hand, Beelzebub is full of joy when he receives his toy sent by the great demon lord. While talking in the halls, Hilda is bored and asks Oga if there's not a person in charge, just like they have the great demon lord who is in charge of their world. And this sparks a thought in Oga's head, which is to finally meet the principal, and heads over to his office, as he must be the only person more terrible than anyone else in the school. Thus finally finding a better candidate is Beelzebub's father. But when they enter the principal's office they come to find out that he's just a withered and weak old man, who couldn't possibly harm anyone. Later on, Beals is feeling happy playing with his toy, when all of a sudden, he bursts into tears and electrocutes everyone. When Oga asks Hilda why he's upset, she tells him that it must be because he's hungry, and needs his specific milk which was normally provided by the nine-headed King Hydra of the demon world. However this would be impossible to get on earth, and she told him the only equivalent to the milk would be cow's milk. So Oga takes them to the cafeteria, where they serve some cartons of milk. But some of the students who are fighting over a piece of bread, accidentally knock it out of Hilda's hands, making him cry and destroying half of the building. Later on, Oga and Baby Beals have a one-on-one -on -one chat together at the end of the day as the sun sets, and Oga tells him that he can't always cry when things don't go his way, as being a demon he must always be strong, and Oga ends up bonding a lot more with Beals. But out of nowhere, the two second-year twins took Beelzebub and rode off on their motorcycle. Oga instantly ran after the twins and begs them to return Beals at once, as he can't be more than 15 meters away from him. But right then, Elaine Dillon appears and warns Oga about how many meters he's away from Beelzebub. He then offers him a teleportation to catch up to them. Elaine Dillon teleports and stops the twins, leaving them both in disbelief as they saw the largest man they've ever seen. And out comes a furious Oga, who confronts the two twins about trying to take his son Beelzebub, and explains to them how they've messed with the wrong baby. Just then, the twins get ready to fight him. But Oga places Beelzebub on top of his head, and they both generate a huge amount of power, some sort of flaming energy, which creates a mark of the beast on Oga's hand. At this moment they both combine their souls, and as the twins approach them, Oga charges up a move called the Demon Lord Punch, and takes out the two twins easily, sending them both flying into the sky. At the end, they both head home, and Hilda is seen watching from afar and whispers underneath her breath, saying Oga still has much to learn. But that was part 1 of Beelzebub. If you enjoyed it and want to see more, then make sure to comment for part 2. Please remember to leave a like on the video, and subscribe to our channel for more anime recaps like this. Watch this next video, and I'll see you in the next one.